This is the Emeralds team here in Norland Park having their photograph taken before they take on Wine Gap in the JJ Kavna and Sons County Junior Hurling Championship final. This is the Wine Gap team who came through in the south, defeating Pilltown last week, and they are here contesting the Junior Hurling County final against the Emeralds from Orlingford. The Wine Gap team in their red jerseys. Referee Paddy Nari and his linesmen just taking the, to the pitch. It's a miserable day, heavy rain falling, but thankfully no wind, if it's any consolation, but a very, very wet day in Northern Park. Good crowd over in the old stand, and this new stand underneath us is filling up nicely as well. Ken Hughes is the captain of the Emeralds, number two. And Dermot O'Shea, the fullback for Wine Gap, wearing number three, the captain, the men from the south. The Emeralds have won the toss. I don't think it makes an awful lot of difference what way they play. No breeze, but heavy rain falling, slightly blowing from left to right as we look out. So the final word for the Emeralds team, their backroom team are Tom Phelan, Martin O'Brien, John Ling and Sean Norton. Looking after the Wine Gap team this year, Paul Dorn, Frank O'Brien, Bobby Jackman, the trainer, and Joe O'Shea. So all is set then for the Junior Hurling Championship final. Final huddle for the Wine Gap men. All oh, Emeralds players already take, taking their positions. Now the Wine Gap breakaway. Good support for both teams here in Nolan Park. What a pity the conditions are not a little bit better. But I'm sure once the game starts, that will be all put to the back of their minds. from the James Stevens Club about to start this Junior Hurling Championship final for the year 2001. Wind up in red playing from right to left. Aidan Mackey is number five for Wind Gap. Eight is Jerry Meehan, but the ball is knocked away from him. Over to Ray Moriarty, chased by PJ Barron. Shot half blocked down, but running onto it is Aidan Fogarty. Tom Egan is number seven for Wind Gap. Pushing the back by Emmett Kavner wearing 15 for the Emeralds. It's a free out for the men from the South Wine Gap. On his own 20 meter line, PJ Barron with his free for Wine Gap. Goes to the middle of the field. PJ Egan finding it hard to get that ball up and Aiden Fogarty nips in for the Emeralds. Drives it up this wing. Full back is Dermot O'Shea, the captain. Austin Clear looks in for the Emeralds. A shot from Austin Clear is just drifting outside the post, left of the post and wide.
Jimmy Welch is the goalkeeper for Wine Gap. Vastly experienced man between the posts, dropping the ball in the centre of the field. Jerry King, number eight. The ball breaks to PJ Egan. He slips, and the Emirates come on the attack once again. Ray Moriarty ahead of Barron. Hops off of Barron. Ball still in play, and Barron clears it for the Wine Gap man. Running onto it there for Wine Gap is number eight, Jerry Mean. Can he control the ball? Passes it back. Number 12 is Matt Enright. He drives it into the centre. Cut out by Tom Hughes, the captain of the Emirates team. Drives it long down the middle. Knocked out there by Ed Mackey with the yellow helmet. Nipping in. Almost getting the ball for Sean Tobin. James Murray, number 11. Aidan Mackey. Oh, nicely taken by Matt Enright. 45 metres out, driving that ball in. Goalkeeper advance, Colin Grant, under 16 keeper. And drives it up the field. I thought the referee had blown the player, seemed to look at him. And was on the attack. Alan Gilfay's shot is blocked down. The referee sees a chop there, and it's going to be a free into wind up. So the first chance for Wine Gap, this free, taken by number 13, Pat Power, knocked out by the goalkeeper, Colin Grant. Brendan Cal drives it out for a 65. So this 65 for Wine Gap is going to be taken by number six, Niall Kenny. Didn't catch it terribly well. Pulled on the side by Pat Welch and clear by Brendan Joyce for the Emirates towards the far side of the field. Alan Gilfile overruns it. Aidan Mackey is back there for Wine Gap. Drives it higher more than long, but the ball is dropping inside, broken out to Derry Green. Trying to get that ball, conditions not good. Niall Jordan is the 15, but the ball is taken away from him and the Emirates try to clear their lines. Up, drives that ball in. The goalkeeper Jimmy Welch has to go over the ball the first score of the game. Aidan Fogarty, who had such a good game in the semi final a few weeks back, has opened the scoring in this game. It's taken four and a half minutes. The Ember is one point, wind up, no score. Great catch there by number eight, Jerry Meehan for Wine Gap. Sean Tobin playing back in his own half back line. Wine Gap clearing their lines. Tom Egan, he looks to be playing over in the far wing, and maybe he's going to come back to this side. Sean Tobin once again, driving it across to Ray Moriarty, knocked away by PJ Barron. Pulled inside to Austin Clear. Austin Clear takes a shot, and Austin Clear shot is not over the bar. Full forward, Austin Clear, pulling that ball nicely between the posts. The Emeralds of Erling for two pints, wine gap, no score. Well, we thought Tom Egan was playing on the right hand side. He's very much back in his left half back position here. Nicely knocked away by Billy Dwyer. Niall Kenny trying to swing at that one, but it's the Emeralds men coming onto it. 14 is Ray Moriarty driving it long across to the far side. Brendan Barry, number two. Dangerous enough, ball goes into the centre, can the backs get rid of it? His full back, Dermot O'Shea, was helping out. But it's all the Emeralds so far. Driven in again by Phil Dwyer. P.J. Barron, beaten by Aidan Fogarty, Fogarty going forward a shot, but it's gone wide. A shot on the run by Aidan Fogarty, always going outside the post and wide. I 
Michael Dial just tying his laces before he resumes his position. Centre half forward for the Emeralds. And Jimmy Welch will puck out from the right hand goal for Wine Gap. Raining very, very steadily here now, but no breeze of any consequence. Philly the wire, cutting it out for the Emeralds, driving them back again. Back goes Aidan Mackey, number five. Good clearance up the far wing. Paul McKenna is underneath this. Brendan Joyce full back appears to be playing out the field. Maybe he's being dragged out here. Come wind up. Bad ball in. Niall Cahill. He's playing at full back, it would appear. Drives that ball for the Emeralds. Number seven is Tom Egan. Niall Cahill is at full back, and Brendan Joyce is at left half back for the Emeralds. This is Sean Tobin. Cross to this side once again. PJ Barron. Well hooked by Eddie Fogarty and he lost his hold, but Fogarty has his. He's dragged out of his attempt to go through the free and for the Emeralds. So Derek Ling, the midfielder, coming up to take this free, just inside the Wine Gap 65 metre line. So Derek Ling with the free, sends it in, it's tearing left and it's gone wide. Wine Gap supporters looking on. Wondering how long more it's going to take their team to get a score. Emeralds two points, Wine Gap no score. Eight and a half minutes gone in the first half. Another player tying his laces as Paddy Nari just gives him time to do so. Jimmy Welch's puck is rather short, didn't even reach the 65 metre line. Michael Dyle comes on to it. Still Michael Dyle for the Emeralds. Great run by the number 11. Hand passes it inside to Austin Clear. Clear the goal! Great run by number 11, Michael Dyle. Walked his way in. Hand pass to Austin Clear without even grabbing the ball. He pulled first time. Passed Jimmy Welch in the wine gap goal. 1 2 for the Emeralds. No score for wine gap. Here come the wine gap men. PJ Egan driving it down the middle. Pat Welch comes out from full forward, but the ball is not there. Pat Power 13 is tusking as well. The backs are holding up well inside. Out to Philly Dwyer. From Brendan Joyce. Nicely added to by Ray Moriarty to Austin Clear, who's causing a bit of havoc in there to down with our share shot from Austin Clear. And a point by Austin Clear. So another point for the fourth, number 14. One three to the Emeralds. Wine gap yet to score. And we've gone over 10 minutes, almost 10 and a half minutes in the first half. Aiden Fogarty coming to meet that ball. The halfbacks appear to have switched on the Wine Gap team, and uh, Dermot O'Shea is in bother as Aston Field gets that ball and passes it across. Emmett Covenant pulls and scores! <laughs> well, Dermot O'Shea, the full back, lost his footing as the ball came in. He's now discarded his helmet. Austin Clear passed the ball. Emmett Kavanagh got it at the second attempt, controlled himself and planted the ball in the back of the Wine Gap net. Two goals and three points to the Emeralds. Wine Gap yet to score. Aidan Mackey is left half back for Wine Gap and Tom Egan has gone to right half back. Alan Gilfile is left half forward and Sean Tobin centre field on the Emeralds team. Actually, Sean Tobin could have started at midfield. He's been there quite a while now. Here he is underneath this ball once again, breaking it down, but caught instead by PJ Egan, and driving it forward for Wine Gap. Cut out by Joe Joyce. This is Matt Enright. Too many Emeralds players there. 
Joe Joyce clears it for the green men. Michael Doyle. Back to Sean Tobin. Tobin drives it inside. PJ Barron comes to meet it, drops out of his hand. Back there is Niall Kenny. PJ Egan. Fouled as he tried to get away. It's a free for the Wine Gap men. So 2-3 to the Emeralds, no score for Wine Gap. 12 and a quarter minutes gone. This free is taken by Pat Powell. He's exactly on the halfway line as he struck that ball. It's dropping dangerously inside and the backs are trying to get it out. And they're all tussling and the backs are winning so far it would appear. Breaking through is Pat Welch for Wine Gap. He's fouled as he's going through. It's a free in for Wine Gap. So this could be the chance for Wine Gap to notch their first score. Emeralds, mentors on the sideline must be pretty happy at this stage. 2-3 to no score, almost 13 minutes gone in the first half. Here's Pat Power with this free for Wine Gap. And they've opened their account at long last, that point by Pat Power. Niall Dorn is left corner for, is right corner forward and Pat Power left corner forward on the Wine Gap team. The Emeralds men have stayed in their own positions, haven't followed. So Colin Grant first puck out after a score. 13 minutes gone. 2-3 to a pint. Derek Dean called for that but didn't come to him. Phil Dwyer pulls. Here's Ray Moriarty. Lively little corner forward, driving that ball in Austin clear, Darren O'Shea, half got it. Nicely taken out by Niall Kenny, and cleared away by Tom Egan. Jared Joyce breaks it down, James Murray drives it across to the far side. Niall Dorden gets around Brendan Cal, brought to them on the ground, Cal is up first, and clears the ball up for the Emeralds. Michael Dyle breaks it down but Niall Kenny cut out there by Sean Tobin off of his foot over the sideline sideline ball for the wine gap men to be taken by Tom Egan. As the crowd look on from the stand, they're under cover. The players are not. Tom Egan just inside the Emeralds half. Along the ground it goes. Jerry Kling for the Emeralds, hopping off the wind up players, but winning the free. <laughs> so as we come up to 15 minutes gone in the first half, the Emeralds leading 2-3 to wind gaps, one point. Jerry Kling is about 50, 60 metres out from his own goal as he strikes this free. Loving it. Less than 10 out, pulled away. And cleared by the wine gap backs. To the middle of the field, caught by Phil DeWire. Driven back in. Niall Kenny for wine gap. Across to the far side, coming to meet it is Niall Gordon, sturdy player. Dropping that ball in, nicely cut out by Ken Hughes, the Emirates captain and cleared up the field. Back goes PJ Barron, out comes Austin Clear. The wine gap man just about gets there first. Nice clearance into the middle of the field. Jerry Meehan trying to catch that ball, not succeeding in doing so. It's the other number eight who almost won it. Sean Tobin along the ground to this side of the field. Cut out there by Ed Mackey. Inside it goes, Ken Hughes knocking the ball away and it comes to Ger Joyce. Good clearance by the centre half back. Niall Kenny lets it stick out of his hand, Ray Moriarty in space, drives that ball in and sends it left and wide. The rain's still falling heavily. And the pitch beginning just to cut up a little bit. Players finding it very hard to hold their footing in these conditions. So Jimmy Welch 
you can see the effect the conditions are having on him and his jersey and togs as he drives that ball into the center knocked down by Derry Glynn Aidan Mackey but cut out by Sean Tobin Brendan Barry for Wine Gap towards the far side Sean Tobin dropping that ball inside Dermot O'Shea breaks it down nicely and it comes to Aidan Mackey he shot his half blocked down by Aidan Fogarty breaks to him at Kavanagh Kavanagh shot brill brilliantly blocked down by Aidan Mackey I think he got a bit of a bang in the face but he certainly blocked that scoring attempt down it's a 65 for the Emeralds The Emeralds 2-3, wind up one pint, almost 18 minutes into the first half. On, the grip on that herd is important today. Derry Kling with a 65. Wide out near the sideline, dropping it nicely, and the goalkeeper watches it, bats it out. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. Brendan Barry has to have a second and third attempt at it to get it away from the danger area. The Emeralds are not finished yet. Alan Gilfile dropping it in. The ball has just gone out over the end line, left and wide. So Jimmy Welch once again. And dropping it in the middle once again. Ger Joyce pulls first time for the Emeralds. All Emeralds pressure so far. Emmett Kavna onto his left side inside nobody there the ball goes harmlessly over the end line and wide dropping in the middle of the field scooped away by Brendan Joyce Jerry Meehan for wind gap is onto it he's going for going forward turns onto his left hand side and drives the ball across to this side of the field Matty Enright can't get onto that back goes Phil Dwyer running all over the place the referee has decided he's carried it too far so it's a free in for wind gap Phil Dwyer unable to get that ball away wanted to get onto his good side but carried the ball took too many steps and conceded a free So the defenders man the goal. Colin Grant on the goal as Pat Power prepares to take this free. I think he's going to dry the hurl before he takes it. Just to make sure the grip is secure. It's that kind of a day. So Pat Power with this free. Stretched to hit it but got it between the posts. The second point of the game for Wine Gap. Two of them have come from frees by Pat Power. The Emeralds 2-3, wine gap, three, two pines, 2-3 two, to two pines. 20 minutes gone in the first half. Colin Grant, young goalkeeper from the Emeralds, all very short one. I think the conditions were to blame for that. The hurl seemed to slip out of his hand. Niall Dorn, Niall Dorn drives that ball nicely in. Niall Cal playing at full back, shot blocked down, three wind gap men onto it. Matty Enright, hand passing inside to Pat Welch. Welch goes forward, still Pat Welch, hand passing outside. Philly the wire pulls on it. Matt Enright once again. Great chance there, but didn't take it. And Brendan Joyce comes away from the Emeralds. Michael Dial. Austin Clear, Dermot O'Shea has to recover. Here comes Austin Clear. Back past two players. A shot from Austin Clear bounces off somebody who won't reach the post. Emerald is still there in numbers. Shot by Ray Moriarty and Ray Moriarty has put the ball over the ball. Hard one pint in the end, but they battled away before they took their chance. Ray Moriarty putting the ball over the bar. 2-4 to the Emeralds, two pints to Wine Gap.
Jerry Clean number eight pulling. Michael Dial eleven blocking. And trying to get the ball away. But Niall Kenny comes away with it for Wine Gap. Jerry Mean overruns it. James Murray is number eleven. Good shot, but nobody inside the goalkeeper advances. This could be dangerous. It's gone into the back of the mouth. I think it was Pat Welch who got the final shot, or perhaps it came off of number seven, Niall Pal. But between them, the ball ended up in the back of the net. Alan Gilfot, or, um, Colin Grant was sl rather slow in coming off of his line. Pat Welch persisted, ran in, and between himself and Niall Cal, somebody hit the ball, hopped off them, and ended up in the back of the net. So 2-4 to 1-2, two. rain getting heavier all the time. But that goal would certainly be a great tonic to the Wine Gap men. The Emeralds men are just uh, having a real thing, perhaps. Some undercover, a lot of them are not. The towels are being used today. Not too sure what the towels are actually doing. So this is Matty Enright with a sideline cut for Wine Gap. Well, that's a good cut, and he's dropping it way in. Knocked away by Niall Cal. The umpire says it went off of the Wine Gap player last. The ball went wide. Conditions are really bad now, as you can see the rain, very, very heavy. Two four to the Emeralds, one two to Wine Gap. Almost 24 minutes gone in the first half. James Murray, number 11, trying to get the ball out to Matty Enright. Pass goes astray, Enright may get onto a jet. Emeralds player is there in number, Philly the wire. Austin Clear comes out there with O'Shea. Only as far as Ray Moriarty gets the ball out here to Aidan Fogarty and succeeding in getting and finding Fogarty as well. PJ Barron is there. Ray Moriarty, number 13. Awkward angle from number 13 right across the post, left and wide. Bobby Jackman. He can pull perhaps to get this wine gap team moving but they're doing okay that ball brought them back into the game 2-4 to 1-2 they trail five minutes to go to half time Matty Enright did well to get that ball up but the ball the shot was blocked down by Alan Gilfile number nine and the referee decides he will throw the ball in between two players Sean Tobin gets the pull the Emirates come on the attack. Michael Dyer, another of these runs, no hurt, but he kicks the ball forward. PJ Barron swings and misses. Ashton Keira robbed him but didn't pull onto the ball. Ray Moriarty pulls. Tom Egan is there. Emmett Kavanagh is 15. Brendan Barry is the red number two. The ball has gone over the sideline, sideline ball for the Emeralds. Number nine over there is Alan Gilfile, about 40 metres out from the post. Sideline ball very short. Tom Egan, number seven, doing well, making room for himself. Driving it not very far and into a dangerous position. But PJ Egan did very well. Drove it over here as far as Pat Power. Power is on the ground and Emberl's player is there in number. Joe Joyce knew there was danger behind and adjusted well. Back was Aidan Mackey. Chased by Aidan Fogarty, PJ Egan, across to the far side. Niall Dorn coming out, grabbing that ball, driving it in. Colin Grant watches it, that could have been a dangerous ball, he let it hop, grabbed it and cleared it back out. Dorn is underneath it. Alan Gilfile is there, the linesman says the line ball is for the Emeralds. Niall Dorden, big burly corner forward, wearing 15 but playing top of the right since early in the game. And this is Sean Tobin wearing 12 but playing centre field 
since very early in the game, if not at the start. And very effective he is too out around that area. Sideline ball exactly on the halfway line. And Michael Dial comes to meet it ahead of Niall Kenny. Tom Egan back up for wind up. Broken down by Paul McKenna. Ken Hughes is there for the Emeralds. Breaks to Matty Enright. Enright lets fly. Pat Welch is in there. It beats everybody. Colin Grant. Pat Power dispossesses him. It looked like a high tackle, but the referee didn't blow. Ball has gone over the end line. It's a 65. Colin Grant. Did he get a bit of a bang? I think he's going to need attention in the goal there. It looked like a high enough tackle by the wine gap player, but the referee did not blow. Colin Grant eventually lost possession, but the ball was put out for a 65. So Colin Grant is OK, back on his goal line. It's a 65 for wine gap when mentors are gone off the pitch. Number six, Niall Kenny with this 65 for wine gap. 2-4 to 1-2, under two minutes to go to half time plus stoppage time. Ball has gone to the right and wide. too sure how dry that towel is hanging on the green flag there but Colin decided it did the job for him anyway nicely broken down by James Murray but last possession Jerry Clinton ball brought to Matty Enright he was fouled Pat Power is coming out he's going to use another towel to dry his hurl going to get a little drop on the hand. Bobby has all the tricks down there, I think. Now, Pat Power, just inside the 65-metre line. Dropping it inside. Ball breaks to the James Murray, number 11, for Wine Gap. A shot from Murray, blocked by Grant. Ball breaks out. Matty Enright, no one in particular. Ball broken away. PJ Egan hops off him. The Emeralds come on the attack once again. Niall Kenny shot cut out by Derek Ling. Ling is taken to the ground. Three for the Emeralds. We've gone into injury time at the end of the first half. The Emeralds are leading 2 4 to 1 2. And Pat Welch may, might need attention, does he? No, just a quick word with the referee and from the referee. Pat got a bit of a knock there just a second or two ago. Now this is Brendan Joyce. He's playing at left half back. He finds Aidan Fogarty. Fogarty does very well to retain control of the ball. But Matty Enright does very well for Glenn Moore. Takes the ball away with him. How can he get it forward? He can. But the Emeralds players are there in numbers once again. James Murray is beaten. Gerald Joyce's claims go up this way, and the other number six is Rob Nile Kenny. Ray Moriarty, great blocking down drop by Kenny. But Moriarty has the momentum, he's going forward, drives the ball across into the centre. Austin Clear, Clear going forward. This is another chance, he takes the ball, blocked by Jimmy Welch. Brendan Barry on the goal line gets the ball away. The referee has blown, pushing the back, he said, and it's a free out. Every time Austin Clear gets that ball and bears down on goal, there's a, a hum comes up from the attendants here. That time Jimmy Welch did well, held his ground and blocked the shot, and wind up win the free out. <laughs> so almost two minutes of injury time played. Here come the Emeralds once again with Ger Joyce. Well blocked by Aidan Mackey, cleared. Matty Enright. Jerry Meehan is on the ground. 
Graal Tostling. Paul McKenna had that ball but lost it. Breaks here for James Murray. Murray going forward. Gets the ball away. A good ball, but can use cut it out. Please follow this and this is James away. Wild pull, says the referee, and it's going to be free up for the Emeralds. So coming up to three minutes of injury time played as Brendan Joyce takes this free for the Emirates. Can't be too far away from the half-time whistle. As I said that, the referee Paddy Nari sounds the half-time whistle. And here in Norland Park, in the JJ Kavna and Sons County Junior Hurling Championship final, the half-time score reads, the Emeralds of Hurling for two goals and four points, wine gap, one goal and two points.
players anxious for the second half to start. Paddy Nari has no slitter. If he had, he would restart the game. Number 20, Pat Foley, is on the wine gap team at full forward. Now Paddy Nari goes towards the centre of the field. Emeralds 2 4, wine gap 1 2. Rain still coming down fairly strongly. And away they go for the second half then. The Emeralds playing from right to left. Maiden Forty fouled as he tried to get onto that ball, it's also free for them. Paul McKenna top of the right, Pat Foley full forward on the wine gap team. This is Jerry Kling just inside the wine gap half. With this free early in the second half, driving it in, it's going left, but it's not going to reach the goal or the end line. Emmett Kavanagh, and it gets fired goal! <laughs> Number nine, Alan Gilfile, got that ball, nice pass from Emmett Kavna and buried it past a number of players and the goalkeeper to the back of the net. Great start for the Emeralds at the start of the second half. 3-4 to 1-2, the Emeralds lead. Wine Gap need to get back into this game quickly now, just to stay in touch. Sean Torben across to this side of the field. Alan Gilfile. Emmett Kavner beaten. Wild pull on Brendan Barry, who had lost his hurl. And the referee gives the free to the men in red. Wine Gap. Nine Jordan has gone centre half forward for Wine Gap. And Pat Welch looks like he's the man who has gone off. Pat Foley playing at full forward. Niall Kenny, ball hurls completely slipped out of his hand as he struck that. Alan Gilfile, three Emirates players there. Gilfile, the one to take the ball on. Gets it at the second attempt. Drives it low inside. Cut by Aston Creel. Dermot Rocher sticking closely to him. Emeralds player guilty of overcarrying and the wind up men get the free out. PJ Barron drives that ball long. Ken Hughes back up for the Emeralds, he's the captain. Jerry Mean, referee has to run out of the way. Ball lobbed inside, but once again the backs have it. Ken Hughes once again cut the ball three times, the referee says, so it's a free in. Chance for Wine Gap, the towels are in again. Rain still coming down steadily. Actually, it eased off during the half time break, but now it's steady enough again. Now, Pat Power with this free for Wine Gap. Lobs it in, and gee, well, just about inside the post there wasn't a whole lot to spare he's playing top of the left now Pat Power Pat Foley full forward and Paul McKenna top of the right Niall Dorden centre half forward James Murray right half forward and the only man to retain his original position is Matty Enright at left half forward So here come the Wine Gap men once again, Matty Enright. Hand passes it across to James Murray. Murray, a nice sidestep, going forward. Ball taken off of his hurl. Joe Joyce doing well. Brendan Joyce coming away with the ball. Michael Dial, he's beaten by Niall Kenny, but he recovers. Austin Clear, rounds O'Shea once again, Clear goes forward, hand passes, Emmett Kavner, and it's gone over the bar. Could have been a goal, but he decided to go for the point, maybe, or maybe the ball went too high. Jimmy Welch is down injured, the goalkeeper. Bobby Jackman is making switches.
So 3-5 to the Emeralds, 1-3 to Winegap. Brendan Barry left corner, PJ Barron right corner. They're targeting Emmett Kavanagh as the danger man. So it's not, in fact, it's uh, Dermot O'Shea who's gone out into the corner. And PJ Barron has gone full back. That's what it is. Jerry Ling. Didn't forward he fouled as he got that pass from Moriarty. And it's a free into the Emeralds. So free now for Aidan Fogarty for the Emeralds. Didn't come up terribly well. He struck it well enough though to put the ball over the bar. So three goals and six pints for the Emeralds. One goal and three for Wine Gap and six minutes gone in the second half. Now I don't think Pat Foley is on the Wine Gap team. I think it's Pat Welch who was wearing number 20. And he's now come out to centre half forward. And no, Niall Doran has gone in at full forward. So Pat Welch is on the team still, but he's wearing the number 20 jersey. PG, or it's not PG against Jerry McNeon. Here comes Matty Enright. He's fouled as he got on to the end of that pass. And it's a free in for the Wine Gap men. And Pat Power will come out from the left corner forward position to take the free. Noel Niall Doran, full forward now for the Wine Gap men. Marking Niall Cahill. This is Pat Power. Lobs it in between the posts over the bar of pine for the Wine Gap men. Three goals and six pints for the Emeralds. One goal and four now for Wine Gap. <laughs> Colin Grant favouring this side of the pitch. James Murray for Wine Gap got onto that one well. Half blocked down by Brendan Joyce. Off of the Emeralds player, number four, Brendan Cahill. Sideline ball for Wine Gap. Number 11, James Murray to take it. 55 metres out into the centre it goes. PJ Egan tries to add to it. Comes to Derry Link for the Emeralds. Cross to the far side, Aidan Fogarty changed, chased by Aidan Mackey. Fogarty shot at half block down, Niall Kenny number six. Michael Dye lost his hurl. Here come the Emeralds once again. Aidan Fogarty has gone through three or four players. The ball breaks out here to Sean Tobin. Back out to Alan Gilfile. Gilfile goes forward. Still get file, chased by Tom Egan. Back it comes here. Sean Torben, a shot from Sean Torben. And Sean Torben has put the ball over the bar. Wearing 12 but playing midfield, Sean Torben has scored the latest point for the Emeralds. They lead 3 7 to Wine Gaps 1 4. Almost nine minutes gone in the second half. Pat Welch wearing 20. Beaten by Ger Joyce, can't control the ball, sideline ball for the Wine Gap men. Rain falling, but those people are quite safe up there in the stand. Matty Enright. Pat Power knocked off the ball and it breaks to Derek Ling. First timing it up to Michael Dial. Niall Kenny can't get that ball into his hand. Sean Torben along the ground. Picked over here. Dermot O'Shea playing in the corner now. Ball goes astray. Alan Gilfile drops it in. PJ Barron, he's playing at fullback now for Wine Gap. Back up the swing, it goes. Alan Gilfile once again, 65 metres out, drives it to the left and drives it wide.
So 3-7 to 1-4. Ten minutes gone in the second half. Matty Enright tussling with Aidan Fogarty over there. Now there's more joining in and the Emeralds man comes up with the ball. It's Derek Ling. PJ Barron back up for Wine Gap. Knocked down by Derek Ling. Comes back to him again. He wasn't ready for it, I think. Alan Gilfile, number nine, controlled that ball well and sent it forward. Brendan Barry to PJ to PJ Barron. Towards the far sideline, kept in play by Matty Enright, driven into the centre over everybody's head, and now comes Der Niall Dorden. Niall Dorden now on a run, chased by Joe Joyce, shakes off Joyce, drops that ball in and sends it over the bar. A good point by the number 15. Very good point by Niall Dorden, now playing at full forward. So the Emeralds 3 7, wine gap 1 5. Colin Grant shot comes about 65 metres out and James Murray grabs it for Wine Gap. Paul McKenna, Paul McKenna turns and sends the ball over the bar. Good point by number 10, Paul McKenna playing right corner forward. Wine Gap coming strongly back into this game now. The Emeralds have 3-7, now Wine Gap have 1-6. Once again, Murray breaks it down. Tobin tries to get onto it. Without his hurled means, kicks it across into the centre. Derry Kling. The referee pulls, blows. A wild pull by Derry Kling, I think, or somebody from the Emeralds. And it's a free in for Wine Gap. The towel is coming in again. Rain steadily falling. The conditions getting worse by the minute. So Paul Power with this free. A little over 60 metres out from the Emeralds goal. Struck it well. It's gone left though and it's gone wide. So a 3-7 to 1-6. 13 minutes into the second half. Wine Gap mentors. Wondering what they can do. To swing this game. Pull it around. Turn it around. Pat Welch. Still Pat Welch. He's been quite enough so far today. He's now going strong and passes the ball outside. Jerry Mean shot blocked down. And it comes to Brendan Carr. Brendan Carr for the Emeralds trying to get the ball away. The referee has blown. Push, he says, he's giving a free in. So Pat Power, the man who was on the ground, is he going to take this free? It's a penalty, in fact. It's a penalty for Wine Gap. In fact, it's not Pat Power, it's Niall Dorn who's going to have a go at this one. Ken Hughes, Colin Grant and Jerry Joyce manning the goal. Here comes Niall Dorn. And it's Ethel Grant's hurling over the bar. So the Emeralds now lead 3-7 to 1-7. And we're just coming up to 15 minutes gone in the second half.
Colin Grant. I think it was his hurl deflected the ball over the bar from that penalty. A goal there would have made this game very interesting. Derek Ling can't control the ball. And Weingap getting very much into this game now. Matty Enright being told where to place the ball by the linesman. Just outside the 45 metre line. That's a very good cut in the conditions. Nile Carl pulls, it comes to Nile Dorn. Nile Dorn, a good shot across the post though, out over the line and wide. So into the final 15 minutes we go then. The Emeralds 3 7, Wine Gap 1 7. So those two early goals still between the teams. But Wine Gap trying to fight their way back into this game. The ball breaks out here to Pat Welch. Pat Welch going forward. Pam passes the ball inside. Brendan Joyce is there for the Emeralds. He's on the ground. And Pat Welch nips in once again. Ball breaks back out here. PJ Egan. Ham passes it away. No, it doesn't work. Aidan Fogarty. He's a danger man when he gets going. And still Fogarty gone past Nile Kenny. Still Aidan Fogarty. Looks up. Well hooked by Kenny. Ball breaks outside. Brendan Barry is there, but Kenny has that ball. Shortish clearance comes here to Tom Egan. Egan down the middle. James Murray lets it run on. Joe Joyce, very dependable centre half back. Alan Gilfile. Gilfile drives it in. Dermot O'Shea. Clears it in a swing. Pat Welch knocked away from him as he put his hand up. Brendan Joyce, long clearance by the full back. Dropping it inside. Nudged out only as far as Ray Moriarty. And Ray Moriarty has put the ball over the bar. So the one visit they made up the field in the last few minutes, they've put the ball over the bar. Ray Moriarty, the scorer, 3-8 to 1-7, the Emeralds lead. Pat Welch going forward for wind up once again. Gets the ball out to James Murray. Murray in space, sends the ball in and sends it over the bar. So James Murray putting that ball over the bar, getting the pass from Pat Welch. 3-8 to 1-8. Colin Grant preparing to puck out. Dropping it in the middle of the field. Back goes Niall Kenny. Loose ball there. Alan Gilfile, nice sidestep. Drives that ball in, but there's nobody inside. Jimmy Welch comes out. He needs to get the ball away. PJ Barron under pressure. Brendan Barry with a bit of space. Jerry Meehan. Nicely taken by the number 13. And the ball has gone over the bar from Pat Power. Good point by the number 13 this time from play. And the score now is the Emeralds 3-8. Wind up 1-9. Just over 10 minutes left. Bar gone over the sideline. Linesman is going to throw it in, I think. Tom Egan gets the break of the ball. Clears loose outside, he finds James Murray. Murray eventually gets it into his hand. Needs to get it away, but it breaks back to Jerry Meehan. Player loose behind him. Meehan drives it inside. Pat Power, if he could have got that ball, but it went over his head and wide. So 10 minutes left. The Emeralds, the Emerald player down injured. They're, his team is leading by three goals and eight points to one goal and nine.
So George, uh, uh, Brendan Joyce, in fact, resumes his position. Brendan is now playing centre half back on Pat Welch, and George Joyce has gone out here to left half back. So the whole Emirates half back line are now wearing red helmets. Pat Welch is in there tussling. Brendan Joyce, number three. Michael Doyle, 11. Of course, wine gaps away with Tom Egan. Kicks it down, blocked down by Gerald Joyce. Gets away from Pat Welch. Kept in place, play by Alan Gilfile up the swing. That's unfortunate from PJ Barron. Couldn't control the ball. Concedes the sideline ball to the Emeralds. So 3 8 to 1 9. The Emeralds ahead, as they have been from the very start of the game. Alan Gilfile with the sideline caught on the 20 metre line. That's a good ball right into the centre. Ray Moriarty couldn't get onto it. Brendan Barry, number two for Wine Gap. Blocked down by Moriarty. Ball breaks back out. And the referee has blown. He's giving a free into the Emeralds. Michael Dial, the player down, who was fouled. He needs a bit of attention. So Michael Dial just getting to his feet now. Just under eight minutes left, plus whatever stoppage time there will be. And five points between the teams. Michael Dial back on his feet. <laughs> and Alan Gilfile with this free, 25 metres out, sends it in and sends it over the bar. So the two goals into wine gap. Puck out already taken. Driven forward. Niall Dorn breaks the ball down, but Ken Hughes is there. And passes it away. Tom Egan overruns it. May come back to him. And this is Tom Egan going forward. Still Egan drives it along the ground, but the Emirates players there in number. Brendan Joyce clears it. Uh, Aidan Mackey, well beaten, but he's fouled by Brendan Joyce, who doesn't agree, and the referee is giving the free in. <laughs> so Colin Grant has gone off the Emeralds team, Joe Ryan has gone into goal in his place. And Pat Power, number 13, is going out. That's Joe Ryan in on the goal now. Colin gone off. Pat Power going out to take this free. Far wine gap, six points between the teams. 45 metres out. It's gone over the bar. Another point for Pat Power. So five points again, 3-9 to 110. Six minutes plus stoppage time left. Short enough ball from Joe Ryan. Brendan Joyce clears up. Michael Dial is there with Niall Kenny. Aidan Fogarty, number 10, is in there tossing as well. The referee is going to throw the ball in. Niall Kenny and Michael Dial. Aidan Mackey was there as well, number five. They're arguing over the sideline ball. The referee is giving it to Wine Gap. <laughs> Kenny Hughes has to go back. Pat Power robs him. Joe Joyce is there. And clears it well up for the Emeralds. 
Great catch by Austin Clear and goes forward around PJ Barron. Brendan Barry comes to meet him. Clear flicks the ball in and sends it over the bar. And by is Austin Clear happy with that point. Puck out already taken. Pat Welch is underneath it. Brendan Joyce knocks it down to Michael Dyle. Dyle drives it out here, but it's normally only Tom Egan there for Wine Gap. Hops off of him at Kavanagh, and Kavanagh does well to dispossess him. Gets it onto his left hand side. There's nobody in there as Jimmy Welch comes forward. 3 10 to 1 10, the score. Almost four minutes plus stoppage time left. Gerard Joyce is back there for the Emeralds. Coming forward. Still Joyce. And passes it inside. Alan Gilfile on his knees, flicks it nicely back to Gerald Joyce, crossing to the centre. Michael Dyle pulls the shortage one. Gerald Joyce flicks it back in again. Alan Gilfile could be on to it. Glenn Moriarty is there, but the ball is cleared by Dermot O'Shea over the sideline. Sideline ball for the Emeralds. So four minutes plus stoppage time left. Alan Gilfile with the sideline ball for the Emeralds. Good ball, driven well in. Austin Clear. In it goes, but very much to the left and wide. So with three minutes plus stoppage time left, the Emeralds 3-10, wind gap 1-10. The Emeralds going for their first title at this junior county final stage. Here's Pat Welch. Drives it inside. Niall Cal, number seven, is there for the Emeralds. Pat Powers underneath this one, broken down by Brendan Joyce and Kenny Hughes. Playing a solid game at cornerback. Drives it to the far side. Ray Moriarty can't get to that ball. It beats him over the sideline. Sideline ball for Winegap. Aidan Mackey's cut goes up. Cleared away out over the sideline. Brendan Joyce. Sideline ball once again for Wine Gap. The crowd look on from the old stand on the far side of the field. Aidan Mackey once again. About 55 metres out from his own goal. Into the last minute of normal time. And still six points between the teams. Here come Wine Gap once again, but they won't get past Gerald Joyce. Clears that ball up. Michael Dyle. Michael Dyle sends that ball in. The goalkeeper Jimmy Welch advances. And clears it back up the field for Wine Gap. Great catch by PJ Egan. Sends the ball in. Niall Jordan is there. Niall Carr is number seven. Here's Pat Welch. Player loose inside, but Welch is going forward himself. Loses the ball, the referee blows and gives the free in. And I don't blame Paul McKenna for swinging the hurl in frustration because he was completely marked, unmarked inside. But Pat Welch decided to go himself and he won the free. So about a half a minute plus stoppage time left, and this is a vital free for Wine Gap. And Niall Dorn is going to drill this one low. He has to really. Here it comes. No, he goes for the point. I don't think he meant to do that somehow or other. 3-10 to 1-11 as we go into injury time at the end of the game. Joe Ryan now playing in goal for the Emeralds. Beside five points ahead, those early goals were crucial. Brendan Joyce drives them forward once again. Ray Moriarty has it. Brendan Barry is the number two. Ball breaks into the centre. Dermot O'Shea. Austin Clear flicks it inside. 
Emmett Kavner. And Kavner puts the ball over the bar. Three eleven to one eleven. Puck out goes to the far side, and the Emeralds coming back again. But Brendan Barry breaks that attack up. PJ Egan flips it forward. Nobody out there. Niall Hall overruns it. Here comes Niall Dorn. He loses it behind him, but he goes back and gets it, and he charges forward. Ball out over the end line of 65 for Windup. So Pat Power being told to go inside and Niall Kenny perhaps will drop this 65 in. They have to, there are six points between the teams, we're in injury time. Didn't drive it very long and the Emeralds backs are doing well and they're bringing the ball forward. And it's Joe Joyce once again, lobbing that ball forward. They all have to go back. Back goes PJ Barron. Clears it across to the far side. PJ Egan in space. Let's the ball run on. Robbed by Derek Ling. Ling readjusts, cut out by Niall Kenny for wind up. Hand passes blocked, but it goes back here to Matty Enright. Enright goes forward now for wind up. Hops off of Derek Ling, but goes back and recovers the ball. Now he loses it to Alan Gilfile. Three wind up players there, and they're all getting him on another's way. Now it breaks to Jerry Meehan. He loses it. PJ Egan is beaten by Aidan Fogarty. There's no Emeralds player there. Brendan Barry for Wine Gap. And that was great pressure by the Emeralds player. In injury time at the end of this game, 3 11 to 1 11, the Emeralds are ahead. Austin Clear got a hand injury there, I think, as he'd made great ground to block down that attempted clearance. But he's back in his position. Sideline ball for the Emeralds. Alan Gilfile, well, after all the preparation, he didn't go terribly far. He may get another attempt at it, but the referee is giving a free out to Wine Gap instead. Almost three minutes of injury time played. Still two goals between the teams. The Emeralds from the north leading 3-11 to the Wine Gap men's 1-11. Here comes PJ Barron. The referee has blown the pussy. And the Emeralds of Ireland folk are the junior champions here in Kilkenny for the year 2001. In a very entertaining final here in Northern Park today in atrocious conditions. The Emeralds of Oldingford have scored three goals and 11 points. Their opponents wind up one goal and 11. So the Emeralds have won their first ever junior championship. And on the display today, they were worthy of that win. So Ken Hughes, the man who will receive the trophy, the Emeralds captain, he played a captain's part at, as did all of the team. It was a team victory, no doubt about it. A fine team performance. Ger Joyce there, number six, Reed, starring performance in the half back line. First at centre back and then on the wing. There's the captain, Ken Hughes. He's really been very consistent this, in this championship all along. So Ken Hughes goes to the Paddy Gray stand, the Oddy Welch stand, I should say, to receive the trophy as the Wine Gap players look on.
Ned Quinn, chairman of the Kilkenny County Board, making the presentation. The JJ Kavna and Sons Junior Hurling Champions for this year are the Emeralds of Hurlingford.
the Eminence players and their rapid manner and the great reception from their supporters and from all here in Norland Park. Terrific victory from the men from Arlingford. And Austin Clear was going to do the full lap, but the boys decided it was time to uh, break for the dressing rooms and the celebrations later on in Langton's. And so the victorious Emeralds team leave Nolan Park as JJ Kavanagh and Sons junior champions for the year 2001. And a final photograph of the full panel with the trophy. The Junior A champions in Kilkenny, the Emeralds of Arlingford. <laughs> 